Now, the third stage of reopening will happen on the 1st of December. That is at least four or five weeks after we hit the 80 per cent double dose. We envisage we'll have at least 90 per cent of our adult population vaccinated by then. On the 1st of December is when unvaccinated people will be able to participate in particular events. On the 1st of December is when unvaccinated people will be able to participate in particular events. That for those of us who are fully vaccinated at the 70% double dose, life will feel so much better. Life will feel uh, getting back to normal. And obviously a number of things kicking at 80%, uh, including community sport, uh, regional travel, uh, and a whole range of other things. And then on the 1st of December will be the final stage of uh, reopening where unvaccinated people will be able to participate. Now, the only exception is that for places of worship at 80 per cent double dose, unvaccinated people will be able to attend places of worship at 80 per cent double dose, but that's it. Twelve people with COVID have died, six men and six women. Four people were in their 60s, two were in their 70s, four were in their 80s and two were in their 90s. Six were not vaccinated, five people had received one dose and one person had received two doses. The message to the unvaccinated is, is that you will not achieve any further freedom unless you get vaccinated. So there will be individuals in regional rural New South Wales who choose not to be vaccinated who will lose their freedoms on the 11th of October. So my message to everybody in regional and rural New South Wales is to continue to get vaccinated. There is no excuse in regional and rural New South Wales not to get vaccinated. If you're not vaccinated, you'll have to wait at least four or five weeks after we've already hit the 80% double dose rate in order to participate in things that the rest of us can participate in. The message is, if you want to be able to have a meal uh, with friends, if you want to welcome people into your home, you have to get vaccinated. That's a simple message. And if you don't, if you choose not to, that's OK. But you'll have to wait a, a long time before you can participate in other activity. Uh, we need to be clear that once we start reopening at 70 per cent double dose, our case numbers will increase. There'll be more mobility, more activity, but what will protect us is that rate of vaccination. Five people had received one dose and one person had received two doses. Don't assume that if you're with someone who's double vaccinated that you won't have the disease or they won't. We ask people to really think about making sure you're still acting as though you might have the disease or somebody else. And what uh, but the unvaccinated certainly won't have uh, anywhere near the opportunities the rest of us do until the 1st of December. Why, when we have seen a lot of spread within places of worship, why has that exception been made for places of worship at 80%? There will also be very um, COVID safety plans in place, so the four square metre rule will apply. Uh, there'll be uh, mask wearing, there'll be limited um, singing or, or, or chanting. So there's still very strict plans in place, very strict plans in place. Uh, at 80 per cent double dose for places of worship. Uh, but that is the one exception and, uh, and the unvaccinated I think will feel very disappointed because they won't be able to re-engage until the 1st of December. We're also urging now National Cabinet to consider booster shots. So the 11th of October is the day in which it really becomes life for the fully vaccinated. For the fully vaccinated. <laughs> for the fully vaccinated. Uh, it, it's all about the fully vaccinated on the 11th of October. There is no excuse in regional rural New South Wales not to get vaccinated.